Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Tracy with Artful Creations by Tracy and I am back with a design team project for tailor-made cards for you and this month's theme is friendship. I invite you to visit tailor-made cards for you's blog and enter this month's challenge. This month's prize is a $10 gift code from tailor-made cards for you. You will also find a discount code there for 20% off your digital order also from tailor-made cards for you. I will have all the links below, including those for use today's project. I am using brown craft paper that I have already cut down to just under four and a quarter by five and a half inches. The Paper Doll Parisian 1925 Set 1 and the Value of Friendship January Calendar. First, I'm going to fussy cut the Value of Friendship. There is a pattern that I will follow along the outside of the quote along with just giving it some of a more wave-like pattern to it as well. For the first paper doll, I will also follow the outline pattern so that I can trim off those outer edges. This will give it a more finished edge. Now my card is going to be an A2 size card and it will be a vertical card. I'm going to take that paper doll image and cut it right in half. Also using a more wave-like pattern that I'm going to be doing here in just a moment as I set up my card. So once I cut that in half, I'm going to bring out the Tim Holtz Walnut Stain and distress the outer edges of my images as well as the cardstock. I'm also using the Rabbit Hole Designs cottontail blending brushes. I really, really love those brushes. Now I'm going to be a little more heavy handed in certain areas, very random places on my images because I want it to have that very random vintage appearance. And I really like how the image of the paper doll cut in half looks against the friendship quote. As I lay out my pattern, it's like it was almost meant to be with surrounding this friendship quote. I really like how that looks. Now I'm going to use barely art glue to here, adhere these down and some of my pieces will end up hanging off the edges of my card front and that's perfectly fine because I intended for that to happen so that I can cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches before I adhere that to my card base. Also, when you do hang off things from your card front, it lends to the uh, person who's looking at your card that there are more things going on on the other side. So it's just a little neat trick to make it look a little more dramatic, I guess, if you want to call it that, than um, just, you know, keeping everything on the front. So here I am just making sure everything's glued down really tight and I'll just cut trim those off. And then I'm going to bring in the Nina 110 pound cardstock. Oh, before I do that, I did get a little bit of glue on my uh, card there and I'm just using a, a rubber eraser to remove it. It's a per it's really wonderful that rubber eraser and then I'll just add a little more of that uh, walnut stain to give it a little more in the areas that kind of wore off there. Let's clean up our mat <laughs> and now we will bring in that card base. Like I said this is the Nina 110 pound heavyweight cardstock and then I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Tattered Rose Distress Oxide to ink the edges of my card base. I wanted to tie in that pink from the friendship quote and I thought this was perfect. Now I'm not looking to blend here I just want to get the ink down on the paper just to give it a little bit of a um, you know, look, I don't need to do the whole thing because we're just worried about the edges peeking through once we adhere our card base, or I should say our card front. And now I'm gonna trim that down to that four inches by five and a 
quarter inches. <laughs> uh, measurements are always my demise, I say. I don't like to measure, but in some sense, instances, you really have to measure, especially if you're trying to get a, a look, you know, certain look there. Okay, now I'm going to just glue that down once again. And what I will also be adding an embellishment. I have these uh, gears. They're just like button type gears. Uh, so they're made of plastic, not metal. I know that Tim Holtz does make metal ones, but mine happen to be plastic. And I will use a craft glue dot to adhere it down. I was playing with the idea of adding the clock piece as well. I will not add it to this card, but I will add it to my second card. And again, just a glue dot will suffice. And then here we have our card, our number one card all finished. For my second card, I am going to use the Sizzix Tattered Edges frame by Tim Holtz to cut out the friendship quote as well as the paper dowel. It comes with five sizes and I used number three and number four size frame. I'm going to make this card into a horizontal card and repeat the same process I did for the first card, inking the edges with the Walnut, dis walnut Stain Distress Ink, randomly inking heavier in areas on the quote and on the paper dowel, and then of course uh, once I'm done cleaning up my mess and moving on to the, uh, you know, gluing them on to the card front, and then adding my embellishment, inking the edges of my card base, which is the Nina 110 cardstock with that tattered rose. And I'm going to end up making four cards today. Two of them will be off camera, but they are basically the same type of card that I just made. One, so there'll be two horizontal cards, two vertical cards. The paper dowel images that I used are all different. Five come in the set along with a few other designs. I really urge you to check that uh, out. And as I finish making my card, I do um, encourage you to check out my description box below for all the links to the challenge blog and make sure you grab that 20% off discount code at TaylorMade Cards for You. I will have all the links below to the products I used, including these digital images. There is also more inspiration with links below from the other design team members projects. Please click their links and watch their videos. There is a lot of talent on this design team. And we also have a Facebook group called Stamping with Friends. I invite you to join that where you can share all your crafty projects with us. And be sure to come back next month. We will have a new project on the first Saturday of every month. And I thank you for watching. And I hope that you have a very blessed day and a wonderful new year. And as again, I finish up here, I'll just add some music. So thank you for watching.